So, this is Coffee Cup Free HTML Editor, which is, I think, has become my favorite HTML editor forever. I don't know, maybe there's something better. But what I like about this editor is that it keeps it nice and neat, gives you the the, the lines that you're working on, all the numbers, keeps you nice and organized, uh, helps you rebuild the template. I love these, uh, what are they called, comment lines or whatever, keeps doesn't show up on your website but it lets you as a writer show off where you're you know where to fix or what the heck you need to fix <laughs> anyways uh, the one thing that I do like about this is that whenever you make a change on here you can actually view it so I'll show you that let's see this is this is my website for my project for net 210 uh, let's see uh, we'll go to view and then you can do a split screen view, but I, I like the full toggle view. I have two screens, so I have to bring this down. As you can see, this is my website for my uh, for from for my project on on Net 210. And what I like about this editor is that see, I can go ahead and highlight that, and it should bring it up right there. See, there there's the code to to that title right there. So if I want to, and edit it. And it should say net 210. So when I bring it back up, it says net 2. <laughs> so you, it, it pretty much edits on the fly. Let me see if I can get this. Okay, so you guys can see that it that when you're editing it, it changes over here. So take a look at this. I'm going to put net 210 back on there. And automatically changes. So whatever you whatever you're making here, it'll automatically transfer over to to this uh, to your actual website the way it's gonna look. And then once you do, you can just save it, and then you can go into the to the folder, or you can just uh, test test it in a real browser. So go ahead and then click test with the default browser, Control F9, and I allow block content. Then there you go. You can test it. You can you can actually edit and and test it to the side. Like see the survival guide class thing. Uh, it, it highlights where that part of that code is within within what you're writing on here. So you're you're not trying to like where the heck is this or trying to use the was it the 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 find function? I have no idea where the find function is. Usually Control F brings it up. Where is it? There it is. You, you do this and you want to know exactly where it says survival and then you click fine uh, no results fine sometimes I'll get stuff like that and where is it well I like about this editor is that it goes right to it once I click on it it goes right to it like like this part of the code it goes right to the whole thing right there so let's say I want to edit my the author here this name and there it is right there I can edit that the the author name so uh, we can put Glenn now I'm messing with you Glenn and there you go look automatically changes to Glenn it's a uh, yeah undo that control Z does the same thing And back to me again. See, automatically changes over, and it does this on the fly, which is what I what I really like about this editor. Uh, in order to get this one, I think there's a paid one. There's like seventy dollars, and this one is uh, free. So just make sure when you type it into your browser, type in the just type it in like it says up there. Free HTML editor. And then it should be the first one. And there it is right there, the free version. You can buy it. You can buy the full version. I'm not exactly sure what the full version has compared to the free one. But if you want to, you can buy the full version. Um, honestly, for my project that I'm doing right now, the free version is more than enough. Uh, the, the Oh, the other thing, what I like about this, this editor here is see these tabs on the side, like in my computer... Uh, the library, the website you're actually working on, and and the code here. 
all, all this uh, code so we can actually make a new website a new page I mean sorry and say I want to add a text code and type I have no idea what this a uh, part of the uh, can't spell the code will do and basically end it and you know write your code uh, video and then whatever video blah 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 video or something whatever the code is and then once once you do that this this little thing up here you can just go ahead and just end of the code so that way whatever's in between the the whatever's right here whatever code you have right here that way it's all nice and neat and if you have problems with it you know where exactly where to edit keeps you organized and I hope this thing helps you out. Oh, uh, when you save it, you can go ahead and sa save as, but just save it and it should be. See, I have all the ones that I made already. Um, let's call it uh, hope.html and then go ahead and save it. And should be first college 250. The, this is where I saved it all. Uh, it should be right there. Hope the HTML, which should be viewable through that thing. So, hope this editor helps you out creating that project, or uh, if you're a Net 210 like Glenn is. <laughs> Anyways, but if if it helps you out, that's great. You know, it's awesome. So this this is one I found out just recently. Found it on like creating this website I've, I found this this um, it's pretty awesome uh, if there's anything better you guys you guys probably let me know right anyways this is uh, this is me saying uh, go create your projects <laughs>